Do you know what this is? Of course you do. It's an orchard ladder. Everyone knows what a ladder is, but you might be surprised at what you don't know about this tool. I'm here to show you how the best workers use their orchard ladders safely and efficiently. You'll see how they use what they've learned to develop good habits. And when we're done, you really will know what an orchard ladder is. Experienced workers make using their orchard ladders look easy. But it takes time and practice to be good at any job you do in the orchard. This is Eladio. He grew up in this orchard and now manages the operation. Here is Eladio's crew. Watch them use ladders to harvest cherries. They pick up their ladders here, looking for any defects or issues that they would report to their supervisor. Notice, as he walks, how the ladder is well balanced and how he's keeping it firmly in his arms. The leg is pulled out and he sets the ladder down, always with the leg uphill, for good balance. With his bucket in hand, he climbs the ladder, keeping his balance by relying on not just his hands and arms, but his legs, thighs, and hips as well. He keeps at least three parts of his body in contact with the ladder. This is a good habit we call three points of contact. At the top rungs, he stays within his safe zone as he's speaking and uses only the ladder and never a tree branch for balance. Can you guess what these two stripes are? Of course you can. These are the never stand on these step stripes. Not for any reason ever will he place his foot on the last two steps of his ladder. He has a rule for coming down too, one step at a time, and stepping onto the ground, never jumping down. There's just a bit more to know about how to use your ladder. But first, I want to show you something interesting about the Ladios crew. They all work in the same safe manner in how they carry their ladder, and set it up with the leg on the uphill side in how they climb up to harvest fruit and how they use their whole body for balance. And finally, how they carefully climb down one step at a time. And that's because they received good training, maybe by watching this video. But training is just part of the reason they're confident they'll go home safely after work. From their first day on the job, every member of the crew committed to good habits never taking shortcuts or becoming complacent about safety. We've shown you some of those good habits, but there's a few more you should have for yourself. Orchard ladders are made for one person. Only you should be on the steps. Unless you're moving up or down, always keep both feet on the steps. Never adjust your ladder by hopping or walking it while you're above ground. If you have to readjust, step off the ladder and then do so. When you climb off your ladder, make sure you're not stepping on any debris or discarded fruit. In the cold months, don't work on an orchard ladder that has ice on it. Avoid placing your hands on the steps when you are on or moving your ladder. This will help avoid contamination of the fruit with microorganisms. We all want our fruit to be clean and safe for our customers. Now, if anyone asks you what this is, you really will know the answer. But let's make sure. Here's three quick questions I'm sure you know the answer to. What do we call using more than two parts of your body to stay balanced? Three points of contact. True or false? The top two steps are used to climb higher into the tree. False. Never climb onto the top two steps of your ladder. If your orchard ladder feels slightly off balance as you climb up, what do you do? Always climb off the ladder and reposition it. The best workers are committed to good habits to do their jobs safely. They don't take risks or get in a hurry and forget to step down rather than jump off their ladders. They rely on what they've learned to do their job the same way, the right way, every day. And now you too know what a ladder is. But have you ever worked on a platform? This is an orchard platform. Orchard platforms replace ladders, allowing workers quick and safe access to the upper branches of trees. An orchard platform can either steer itself or be operated by a driver. 
This platform is being towed by a tractor, and this one has a motor on board. Some mortar platforms have tall railings to accommodate working off the ground. Others include a full body harness and lifeline to prevent falls. This crew is busy using their platform to train fruit branches for optimal growth. And from July through November, these platforms can be found harvesting apples and other kinds of fruit. Because there are many variations of platforms in the orchards, safety can be a challenge. But not if you know what those challenges are and how to work the best possible way. Let's take a few minutes to learn how the best workers do their job safely using platforms. Supervisors don't allow workers on a platform without first showing them how the machine works and what their job will be when the work begins. With a machine this heavy, with all these moving parts, working off the ground, and moving steadily along the rows of fruit, we all pay special attention to our safety and listen to our supervisor, who trained us to work on this machine showed us how to do our job and has an emergency plan ready so everyone knows what to do. There's plenty to know, but you're surrounded by people who are committed to good safety habits. Here's some of what they've learned that will help you. Know how your platform works. When you start your day, look for any damage to the machine. Tell your supervisor if you find anything unusual. There are a lot of moving parts, all over. The areas you'll be standing on are adjustable. Gears and chains bring in and remove pins. Tires roll, moving the machine forward and backwards. This is called a pinch point. Can you guess why? These workers avoid being in any part of the machine where their body could get caught between moving parts. Pinch points. Wearing sturdy work boots, keep a square stance with both feet firmly on the platform. Don't overreach and watch out for moving parts. It's almost time to begin your work on a platform. But first, three quick questions. What is this called? A harness. What kind of shoes do workers wear on platforms? Work boots. What should you do before climbing onto a platform? Look for any damage or issues with the machine. You've been shown how water platforms work and have a new way of thinking about using your ladders. You've seen the best workers do their job safely and you can now take what you know and make your own best habits. Look out for yourself and everyone around you. And when you get a break, enjoy the view. Thanks.